Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm going to do a voiceover for my um, video. And as you can see, I have a black 16 by 20 inch canvas. And this, uh, this is where I'm showing you my base coat, which is a combination of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, Rust-Oleum Metallic White Pearl, and DecoArt Satin Enamel. My colors I'm using today are Modern Masters Glacial Blue, Golden Fluid Acrylic, the Gold Fine, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Peridot, Um, and this is the uh, Galaxy Blue Shimmer by Parage Posse Paints. And this one is a combination of the, let's see here, um, Amsterdam Prussian Blue and Folk Art Garnet. I did uh, combine those two. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirt of GAC 800 and Liquitex Gloss Medium. And now I've put down my base coat of those uh, three components, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, Rust-Oleum Metallic White Pearl, and Duck Wart Satin Enamel. And here I'm just showing you the um, consistency of the paint. It was pretty thin, just left a little bit of a trace. Also, you can see I've used tape to tape around the outside of my canvas, and that's because after the painting is dry, I'll peel that off and it'll look like a black frame. So today I'm doing an acrylic ribbon pour, and I'm going to be doing some swiping to get some cells and some smearing with my palette knife to get some really nice effects. And Right here, I am laying down, starting to lay down my paints. That was the, uh, the Galaxy Blue Shimmer. This is the Modern Masters uh, Glacier Blue. No pattern today, just laying the paints down here. And the next color I use is, let's see here. Oh, this is that combination of the, the Garnet, Folk Art Garnet in the Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Just a very dark Garnet color there. Very pretty color. No silicone was used in my paints today. I did use a little bit of water to thin them. And this is that Peridot color, the uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Peridot. And let's see, this is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Gold Fine. Now I'm just going to give this a quick torch to get rid of the air bubbles. I did make up these paints the day before, so there really isn't too many air bubbles um, in the paints. Now I'm going to start some tipping here. I just want to um, stretch out these paints a bit. I don't have to be concerned at all about my edges or the corners being that they're taped.
Again, just doing some stretching here. And I am going to have to run some of this paint off of the canvas because at this point there's probably just too much, too much paint on there. These paints at this point seem to be playing pretty well together. You can see there on that middle stripe in the middle of the canvas, I'm starting to get a little bit of that clouding effect there. Here I am running some of the paint off. And I'm just going to continue to keep tipping until I'm really happy with how this looks. At this point, I remember thinking that that stripe in the middle is just a little bit too, just, it needs a little bit more character to it. I have quite a bit of negative space left here, but that's okay. This type of painting, you want some negative space. Yes, I just I wasn't happy with the composition, so I just decided to work a little more with it here. Just move it around a little bit more. Here I am just taking another look at it. Just still really not happy with it. Running some of the paints off there. I'm just stretching it out. I really do like that dark burgundy color there, the garnet mixed with the Prussian blue. I have been watching a lot of Gail Burstyn and Sarah Taylor's channel. I want to give them credit uh, for this type of a pour. So if you get a chance, check out Gail Burstyn Life and Splatters and Sarah Taylor. Here I'm giving it another torch. Some pretty areas going on there. And now what I'm showing you here is Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I'm going to be using that as my swipe color, which I've put in this little plastic tray. And that is mixed one part paint to four parts Floetrol. And I am using my palette knife. I just dip my palette knife in that black paint 
and glide it over the colored paint there. And you're going to see some cells popping up. And I have some different type palette knives I had purchased earlier. And this is all experimental. I'm just going to see how using these different palette knives reacts with using that black oxide. You can also use um, Amsterdam Titanium White and it would be the same uh, recipe, four parts of Floetrol to one part of the Titanium White. If you'd rather use white as your swipe color. And I am wiping off my palette knives in between each swipe before I dip them again. And here's another little palette knife with a design on it. Again, experimental. And I dipped it in the black there. I'm just dragging that garnet color down with the black. When I bring you in for a close-up, you'll be able to see all the cells that have popped up. And I think Gail Burston calls these schmears when she uses her palette knife and just schmears the paint. I'm going it I'm going over this several times here. And I end up really liking this little palette knife here. Just gave some really cool effects on this painting. And this is probably the point, if you'd want to fast forward, you could. I'm going to be spending some time here just enhancing this painting with doing these swipes and these schmears. It is great fun. Now I'm just deciding where's the next schmear going to go. As you can see, I'm kind of turning that palette knife to the side just to thin that line down a little bit. And I will have in the description all the colors of the paints I used and all the pouring medium, formulas. That's also a new palette knife there I'm using. A little bit different than that first one I used. It's got, it's got like little teeth and you can see that effect it gave right there when I swiped. This is very relaxing and very creative. 
just using your paints. Just spreading out some of that color, giving it the effect of the cells and the lacing. And that was just my regular medium-sized palette knife there. And if you look close, you can start to see some of the lacing coming up now from the, the um, schmears and swipes I've done there. Just trying to follow some of the line patterns here. And I want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers and all of my watchers. For their support all the re really nice comments I get from everyone is it's very encouraging and makes me want to continue doing this type of painting I just felt like in the middle there, it just needed some more. It was a little bit too plain. And I just continue to do the swiping and the smearing. And I'll take this opportunity to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and would like to consider it, I'd truly appreciate it. And uh, ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. All of that will help my channel grow. I think at this point I'm pretty getting pretty happy with uh, how things are shaping up. I think these colors played beautifully together. And I am going to be curious how it all looks when I, when the painting is dry and I get to take that tape off the outside so it looks like it's framed in black. You can see I'm going back to that, that palette knife I said earlier that I really enjoyed using there.
Just breaking it up where I feel it needs to be broken up here. Just trying to uh, have a little bit more for the eye to look at. Now I'm giving it a, a torch here. And pretty soon I'm going to take you down for a close up. I'm pretty happy with the composition here. And here's our close up. This is the upper left hand corner, just going down the left hand side. You can see how these colors did play really well together. And now we're coming up upon some of the areas where I did add the, the uh, swipe color, that oxide black. You can see the little cells in the swipes and the schmears. And how that does add just a, another layer of something for the eye to look at very bright here just going across the top this is the upper right hand corner going down the right hand side so i hope you enjoyed this video like i said give me a thumbs up if you did and until next time take care everybody bye for